Joining me now from Haymarket, Virginia, is Doug Weed. Uh, he's a presidential historian. Doug, thanks so much for joining us. There has been such an outpouring uh, of reflections, of support for the McCain family from both sides of the aisle. What did Senator John McCain mean to this country? I think he's uh, one of America's greatest figures um, he was an elected president, but <laughs> just about as close as you can get. A beloved figure, a maverick and independent. He used the setbacks he experienced in life, and there were many, as stepping stones to do great things. If you remember the Keating Five, Keating actually went to prison, and there were five senators. Most of their careers were ruined, but one of them, John McCain, tediously and steadfastly rebuilt his reputation and established it as one of honor. McCain Feingold is the campaign finance reform. So there's an example. It wasn't easy for John McCain, but he took whatever life threw at him, as painful as it was, and made something great out of it. And of course, Senator McCain ran for president in both 2000 and 2008. Um, let's go ahead and listen, Doug, to Senator McCain defending his opponent in 2008, Barack Obama, at a campaign stop. I can't trust Obama. I, I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No, 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 ma'am, he's a. He's a, he's a decent family man, citizen, that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. So, Doug, um, for some people, it may have been a little bit difficult to hear, but the woman said this of Barack Obama. She said, I can't trust him, quote, he's an Arab. And then we heard Senator McCain's response there. Can you talk about the significance, Doug, of that particular moment? Yeah, that may, that may be one of the greatest moments, not just for John McCain, but uh, in American political history. And it was spontaneous. It came from his gut. But he had been bruised and hurt deeply throughout his life in political squabbles. In the year 2000, George W. Bush campaign in South Carolina mm -hmm. called him a traitor, leaked stories that he had fathered a black child. Uh, for John McCain, it's one thing to suffer at the hands of communists who have a different system and who feel like we're invading their country far away from home. It's something else to come home and get uh, hit in the gut uh, by a fellow politician in the same political party. So when that moment came with Obama, no, there's no way he was going to go there. And that's where his intuition, his instincts and his deep feelings took over. And uh, I think it was a great moment for all of us. Uh, and of course, Senator McCain, we know, um, will be laid to rest in Annapolis, Maryland. Describe why that particular location is so significant. <laughs> that's, that's a great moment for him. Like a lot of public figures and sons of great men, many of the presidents, they're mama, mama's boys with an absent father. And John McCain's father, who had the same name, but it was John S. McCain, he was the commander of U.S. Naval Forces in Vietnam. And all his life, John McCain was in the shadow of this absent father. But now... <laughs> now he's going to be uh, buried in Annapolis and uh, triumphant, a great career, honored, will probably be remembered far more than his great father, whose shadow he lived in uh, all of his life. So it's a great <laughs> triumphant moment for John McCain. He's coming home. Well, you met Senator McCain nearly 30 years ago and interviewed him numerous times. What did he tell you about how his experience in the military shaped his time in office? Yeah, I think it dominated uh, his experience. My uh, stepmother's brother, uh, General Robinson Reisner, was at the Hanoi Hilton with him when they were tortured. And there was a brotherhood there of what they went through uh, that uh, never, ever left them. Uh, yeah, that shaped his life. There's no question about that. And uh, Doug, I wonder if you could just uh, reflect now on a personal note. What was your experience like with Senator McCain? 
Well, the thing that I liked about Senator McCain, and I didn't realize it until now, his passing now that I know it won't be around anymore, was his sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, you could be backstage or you could be in the wings waiting. It could be very serious. It could be the most solemn of all events. And he would say something sarcastic. You'd have to do a double take. Did I hear that right? And he just found humor in everything and didn't take himself or other people uh, so seriously all the time. And I think that helped him pace himself in his public life. Well, Doug Weed, presidential historian, thank you so much, Doug. We really appreciate your time. Thanks, Elaine.